Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today I want to show you this 20 Hz clock. Now, if you don't know anything about this, this is basically a clock that can trigger something on its output 20 times per second. So basically, each game tick, and that is very fast. So let me turn it on, <laughs> and you can appreciate the sound. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? Can you hear me? <laughs> I hope so. And off. Okay, better. Uh, the problem is that the only blocks that can handle this speed are blocks that create sound, such as this node block, or uh, doors, trap doors, and fence gates. And that's actually it. Uh, of course, also command blocks, but if you are using command blocks, you may as well use a whole command block clock instead of this one. This is survival friendly, command blocks aren't, so that's about that. Now, you are probably thinking, okay, so is this just an expensive noisemaker and... <laughs> Yes, you are partially right, it is a noisemaker, but I think I found another reason why this could be extremely useful. Unfortunately, I won't talk about it right now, I will leave it for my other video because it's a very complicated topic and that would take a very long time. And I don't have time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, let's talk about the design. You should probably already know this part down here. I've shown this in my, uh, what was it called, uh, the Weird Stuff episode. Uh, and this is just the clock itself. The upper part is the reset part that will just start it. And then when you stop, when it stops, it cuts the wire. When it runs, this wire, this is just one single line actually of redstone. So this whole clock is connected via one single line of redstone. That's that's amazing. <laughs> like how it works, I, even I don't know. <laughs> but it works, so I don't, I'm not complaining. But anyways, uh, even back then when I have created this clock, it was not the first one, the first 20 hertz survival clock, because the first one was Gundershots. This design is amazing and I will put a link in the description so you can check it out because it's definitely worth it. You can learn a lot by just watching it, <laughs> how it runs and yeah, I, I really like this design. But anyways, I've built it here because I want to compare these two clocks because they are very different in a way. So let's go away and now let's try to unload them and that's the main reason uh, in which they are different. So, yeah, I didn't stop. Let's do it again. So yeah, okay. So when you unload these clocks, they will both stop, but the problem with this one is that there will be always one piston that is jammed like this or broken. And you cannot reset it just by pressing the reset for this. You could theoretically build a reset around it. Uh, I've learned this recently thanks to those uh, ghost blocks uh, generators, you can actually move with these uh, pistons when they are uh, stuck like this. So you can theoretically build something, a uh, pistons around it, and then have a reset like this. And now it should work again. And there is one more. I can reset this manually. Ah. <laughs> okay, so it works again, but as you can see, it's not so easy to reset it because you don't want to reset it manually, that would be painful. And building a reset circuit could be, I don't know, maybe. But with this one, there is a very nice thing that this one won't jam like that or won't broke. So you can just start it again <laughs> and that's it. Like, it will always stop when you unload it. Or if you unload it, but you can just start it again. <laughs> no problem. So this thing is very survival friendly because not only you can build it in survival mode, but you can also use it <laughs> normally without any fear that it will break. So that's very nice. The other thing is that the output is different with these uh, two between these two uh, machines. So let's compare these outputs with a command block. So this will say B, and this one. Ah, let me let me in. This one is going to say A. And now you can see that both of them are 20 Hz because uh, the number of B's and A's is the same in the chat or there is always the BBAABA and then BBAABA. And 
weird thing is that there are these two B's and two A's next to each other. That should not theoretically happen if you think about it, because if both of these clocks, every game tick are uh, basically triggering these command blocks, they should be just alt alternating those A A's and B's in the chat, but they are not really. So it's quite weird how it works, and I can even show you by slowing down the speed of the game, uh, game rule, and random tick speed, and something like this, maybe. Okay, nice. <laughs> so now it, this is under time dilation, and you can see that this clock behaves very weirdly because for two game ticks it is on and for one game tick it is off. Uh, and by the way, of course, um, sticky pistons or pistons in general reset in three game ticks. And that's why it is doing what it is doing right now. For a full, um, if you wanted to build this uh, full clock, you would need another one of these uh, segments, like this segment, build another one here and then you could have a continuous uh, stream of pulses, but even with this design it is actually 20 Hz from the perspective of this command block, because there are zero ticks and every game tick, or I don't know even how it works, but basically if you, if you look very carefully at these notes, you will see that there are actually two notes on top of each other. Oh, this is hard to see, but let's stop it. Okay, you can see it, there are two nodes generated every game tick, or when it generates, I mean twice, and then there is a pause, and then again two nodes, two nodes, and then nothing. With this design, there is always each game tick, each time something changes, it generates one note. <laughs> and that is quite weird, I mean, if you just think about it, it is weird, <laughs> but that is how it works. So, in the end, you could theoretically say that this, from the point, uh, from the perspective of this node block, uh, this clock could be considered even uh, running on a higher frequency than just 20 Hz. You could theoretically build a 40 Hz clock, because you can trigger this node block twice per every game tick, <laughs> thanks to zero ticks, of course. And I don't think it should count, because you can always just add a zero tick pulse generator to an existing clock and call it like a higher speed, I don't know, that would be very weird, but yeah, it works like that, so I guess deal with it. <laughs> I don't know what it actually means, but it means something. <laughs> I always love this <laughs> this time warp when you when the uh, if you basically if you uh, leave the game running on uh, under lag, it tr then tries to compensate for that previous lag and runs very fast, but. I don't know if it is possible to make it run like that always, that would be very nice to have some device that could uh, create such a condition, but <laughs> I was working on it, but I don't think it is possible. And now let's see something, I was a little bit creative, and I want to show you one more thing before we will uh, end this video. Let's go to this place, and my under some creativity, I've created this <laughs> this fire track, and you can even stand in front of it. And let's change the game mode to zero. I'm now in survival, <laughs> and when you are standing in front of it, it will detect you and start the siren. <laughs> and when you are not standing in front of it, it will stop again. So let's just wait. Yes. <laughs> So, I've managed to squeeze in a player detector, <laughs> and it, it's amazing how it works. I, I, I want to show you, even though this episode is not really about uh, player detectors, but I want to show you that there is a creeper <laughs> called Bomb Squad member, and he, he is uh, very... <laughs> in this place there is a ladder here, this is of course a fence, and on top of a fence there is this pressure plate. 
so the creeper is still in a position that that he can see me. The hitbox of this uh, fence is not obstructing his view or its view, so uh, this creeper can see you when you are standing in front of here, and he will try to get to you, and he will climb the ladder and basically step on this pressure plate or not really step on it but bump into it with his head and that will trigger this whole system so <laughs> very nice I might talk about it in some uh, video but anyways <laughs> and this is Jay Seno <laughs> oh, he is the only uh, f uh, fireman or firefighter that I'm aware of so <laughs> uh, very nice <laughs> some creativity out of me and also there is a backspace here there is a lot of space here actually it's quite weird how I've managed to squeeze it in but you are fire eggs and everything and I will show you down here what how it works and this there, there is of course the uh, the uh, clock here <laughs> that triggers these note blocks and these note blocks are creating the siren sound so you hear it but you don't hear all the pistons because they are down there and that's that's about that <laughs> so yay <laughs> we did it we did it perfect so thank you guys for watching and bye bye <laughs> ah bye boy and one more thing sorry for that <laughs> i will show you how to build it and also i forgot to mention that it is positional dependent so don't build it uh, in between of chunks that can create some problems you won't be able to start it normally you would need to change the configuration a little bit because um, those updates the piston updates are very dependent on its position and sometimes it can happen that you won't be able to start this clock so just build it elsewhere if you have problems like this it usually works most likely but sometimes it can happen so be careful about that but when it works it will always work so at least that's something <laughs> but anyway so uh, I will show you how to build this so just place everything as I am placing it and you should be good to go so <laughs> okay nice let's place these blocks here redstone blocks start it seems okay now when you connect this you actually need to confirm okay that works and now let's place the final uh, block here sticky piston here and where is it there should be redstone torch somewhere probably in here I guess and block here I think one block here oh yes like this don't have just uh, this one because that would power indirectly uh, this piston that would cause some problems and a torch here okay so now it should work oh let me out <laughs> and yes <laughs> nice so yeah now you know how to build it very nice <laughs> and this should be the end so again <laughs> thanks for watching and <laughs> and bye 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 <laughs> bye <laughs>